Hi friends, thank you for joining me for our weekly pastor's update. Many of you have heard by now that Father Jim was scheduled for a follow-up appointment to have a biopsy of his tongue to evaluate whether the growth was cancerous. The update is that he has had the biopsy and a CT scan on Monday, and he's waiting for results. He sends his love and he sends his gratitude to each of you. Father Jim will be taking a week off to heal from the biopsy, but he's doing well so far. Your prayers and his pain medicine are working. He is doing fine for food, so you don't need to send or drop off food at his house. But if you'd like to reach out, please text him or send in cards instead of calling. This will help preserve him from having to talk too much and it'll help reduce the pain from his biopsy. So thank you so much. A staff member this week offered a beautiful quote when talking about this journey that we're on with Father Jim. She said, tough medical news is often hard to reconcile or accept, yet I have always been heartened by the surprising moments of grace that can emerge. And that is so true. God's grace always shows up for us and it will show up for Father Jim. Thanks to so many of you that who are praying and who continue to pray for him. In the meantime, we are also asking your prayers for the 20 kids taking their first communion at our ceremony this weekend. These kids have been preparing to receive Jesus in a special way for four months. I had the pleasure of leading a teaching mass with the kids a couple of weeks ago. They are so spiritually ready and such a great inspiration to me. I can't wait to be with them on Saturday, May 4th at 10 a.m. We have a staff person on our staff who is in need of a car. So if you have one that you're willing to donate directly, please give me a call in the Spiritist office and I'll be happy to connect you. Mother's Day is fast approaching. Mother's Day is fast approaching. This year, Yanina Rivera, a mother from our parish will be our guest preacher, and that will be the weekend of May 11th and 12th for our Mother's Day liturgies. I hope that you'll join us for our 25th anniversary silver ball at the Holiday Inn Hotel on State Street, Saturday, May 18th at 6.30 p.m. We're looking forward to gathering as a community to celebrate God's amazing work in our Spiritist Parish. You can wear anything silver, I'm trying to decide whether to wear a party dress or my silver spiritus t-shirt. The best part though will be that we are all together and you can purchase your tickets online or at our weekend masses. As we are planning our program book for the celebration that evening, we still have space for both tributes and business ads. This is a great opportunity to share your or your family's well wishes and or reflections or your business. The dimensions are detailed in the bulletin this week with a clickable link. And the deadline is Friday, May 10th, Friday, May 10th. And you can email our Director of Communications, Ruth Cowing, at rcowing at spiritischristi.org to order. Thank you so much. This week, we send our condolences to Andy and Mariana Beigel on the fifth anniversary death of their goddaughter, Callie Rose Faulkner, and we apologize for the misspelling of her name in last week's bulletin. We also send our deepest sympathy to Matt Petrillo on the death of his father, Thomas Petrillo, whose funeral will be May 18th at 10 a.m. here at Spiritus. Well, friends, as you go about your week, I hope that you remember that in all the world, there is no heart for you like God's. And I will see you next week for our weekly pastor's update. Take care.